One of the projects in this class is the Species Spotlight Project. And the goal of this project is instead of me telling you about all of these classes of vertebrates, what I'm going to have you guys do is explore these different classes and find organisms that interest you. So there's eight different classes of organisms that we're going to explore, and you guys will be splitting up between those eight different classes to investigate an organism that's interesting in that class and share key characteristics about that organism, as well as just the characteristics that are shared by all organisms in that class. So you have a lot of flexibility, uh, and the material that you teach is actually going to be testable material on the exam. So you're not just teaching in order to teach, you're literally teaching content for the exam. And really keep that in mind as you guys are doing research and creating your presentations. So to give a little bit of overview, I mentioned before that you're going to be working in a group. What you and your group will be doing is researching the outline characteristics of your class. And I'll talk about what characteristics you need to look up in a little bit. You need to find a peer-reviewed article from the primary literature that focuses on an organism that's found in your class. And specifically, we're gonna look at reproduction, mainly because there is a lot of research on reproduction and there is a lot of very interesting things uh, related to reproduction. And then finally, you and your group are gonna create a presentation that you will give to the class. Now, although all of those assignments are for the group, each individual student within the group is going to write and submit a short summary of that scientific article that you and your group, group chose. So although you guys are all choosing the same article, uh, you will be writing your own summary on it, similar to what you've been doing in this course already. So the next section here is various deadlines and the points associated with them. You guys are on this first one right now, watching this introductory video, after which you'll complete the quick quiz. I'm gonna show you where all of this is in Blackboard as well. And this outlines all the assignments, even if there are no points associated with it, uh, just deadlines and things for you to be aware of. So this is worth five points. Uh, the other thing that's due today is choosing a group, and you're going to choose a group by going to the Wikipedia page. So I'm actually going to go ahead and bounce over to Blackboard to show you what I mean. So here's our Blackboard course. I had gone to Projects and Assignments, and then I clicked on the Species Spotlight folder. You've probably already been here because you found this video and found the instructions. Here are those same exact deadlines that are in the worksheet. Here's that quick quiz that I mentioned that is also due uh, early on. Essentially, you're gonna complete this after you watch this video. And then the second thing listed is the class sign up. And by class, I mean the class of organisms sign up. So to sign up for a, a class, go ahead and click on this link. It's going to open quite literally a Wikipedia page uh, within Blackboard. And here you can see, here are the different classes of organisms. Some of them you might recognize, such as mammalia. Others maybe you're not familiar with. And so I encourage you to actually go and look up what these different organisms are. Once you're ready to make a decision, go ahead and click Edit Wiki Content. And then you can literally write your name anywhere on here. And if you change your mind later on, you can come in and edit it and put your name elsewhere. Now this is first come, first serve. Everyone sees this, everyone sees it when it gets edited. So if someone's name is already in a spot, you can't take it. As you can see, there is a limit to only three students per spot. Uh, so if three spots are already taken, choose another one. Now the class you choose doesn't really matter too much. There have been students in the past who try to all get in the same group as their friends. I have other students who try to choose a class that they've never heard of before because it's kind of forced studying to learn more about that class. And then I also have other students who are like, wow, I super like amphibians. I'm going to sign up for amphibians. I don't care who else signs up for it. That's what I'm interested in. So it is totally up to you. I don't care. Uh, what I really encourage you to do is just do something that you think is going to be fun. Um, this project really is based on you guys and what you're interested in.
So this is how you sign up for your project. I'm just going to navigate back to that Species Spotlight folder. And we'll come back to this uh, as I keep going through this handout. So once you've chosen a group, you guys are set. You can start communicating with one another about your project, about what organisms you want to look at, what papers do you want to look at, etc. How you guys communicate is up to you. You can exchange numbers. You can um, create your own group me uh, group. And I can show you how to do that if you need help with it because everyone has a group me account. That's completely up to you. The first thing that is going to be due is your article summary. Remember, all of you in your group are using the same article, but you are individually writing your own summary. This shows you it's just going to be a one page, single spaced. Just give me an overview of the introduction, methods, results, and discussion. I will be grading for grammar as well, so don't rush through this. Also, do not directly quote anything. You should be paraphrasing everything. And you also need to insert uh, an APA citation, both an in-text citation as well as an end reference citation. And I'll show you where you can find that APA guide in Blackboard. And then finally, so you're going to do that article summary, and about a week and a half later, you and your team are going to be presenting the oral presentation. This is going to be a four to eight minute presentation that includes in basic information about your class, such as the name and the type of organisms found, but also things like how many heart chambers do these organisms have? Are they ectothermic or endothermic? What is their skeleton like? And everyone is going to be doing this with their classes, so you can see kind of how things moved along in evolutionary history. If you find other important characteristics, share those as well. But as a huge note, do not introduce more than three characteristics or terms or whatever. Remember, this is stuff going on the test material. The more you add, the more you're expecting other students to memorize and learn. You'll include a very brief summary of your scientific article. I also want you to find a YouTube video. Find something interesting that's related to your topic. And then similar to my PowerPoint slides, you need to include review questions in the notes sections of your slides. And then finally, make your presentation look pretty. These are notes for other students. You don't want a whole slide that is full of words. Last but not least, uh, you will have a peer review that's going to be due uh, a couple days after your presentation. This is a way for you to give feedback about your different team members. This is anonymous. I am not going to go to a team member and say, well, Katie thinks this about you. I'm not going to do that. I may share some of that feedback. So uh, if they did poorly, I might say, well, make sure you're communicating with your group, etc. This is worth five points, and this can be an easy five points as long as you're contributing to your group. So just to jump back to Blackboard real quick, everything is already posted for you. Here's the information on your article summary that each individual student is going to submit. And here is the APA guide if you need help with citing an APA. Here's the Dropbox for the presentation as well as for your peer review. I will make one final note. You're not going to be able to see it yet. But once you form your groups in Blackboard, I'm actually going to officially put you in a group in Blackboard. And what that means is on your left hand toolbar, you're going to see a link here that says groups and it might say amphibia or mammalia. And it's going to be a location where you could drop off files and things like that. You don't have to use it. I won't be checking it. But if you need an easy way to share files with everyone, I have that resource for you. So with that, that's the outline of the project. If you have questions, you can watch this video as many times as you like. It'll stay up, as well as read through the actual instruction sheet. You're also welcome to email me uh, or ask me in class as well.